Hello guys and welcome to another video. In the version 4 release of our GIF WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin, we added a new exciting feature to optimize the filter section for users that access your shop from a mobile device. We analyzed how filters work in the biggest e-commerce and we designed an alternative to offer a similar solution. To this moment, our plugin is the only one available in the market with a mobile-friendly design. Today, I will show you how to enable the filters in a modal window for mobile devices. But before I do, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's see how it works. Here we are inside the sandbox I use for the Ajax product filter videos. We have already seen how to insert the filters in the sidebar, but today I want to show you how these filters work not from a desktop environment but from a mobile device. In this WooCommerce page structure we have all the filters added in the sidebar on the left hand side as you can see right here. But when I see this page from a mobile device, everything is compressed, so I will see. First, the sidebar with all the filters, and below I will have all the products. Let's have a better look. So I will click right and go to inspect. This is the mobile view. As you can see, first we have all the filters. So let's say I wanted to filter a category, accessories. Here, the problem is I don't see the results. I will have to scroll all the way down to find the products. And now, if I wanted to change or add a new filter, I will have to go back up, find the filter, select it, and scroll back down. This is the standard in WooCommerce. However, it is not very user-friendly. This is why we analyzed some of the biggest e-commerce and came up with a fantastic change for our Yeet WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. And I will show it to you in just one moment. First, let's close here and I will show you something else. Here, if we change the sidebar from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, then from the mobile view, we will have first all the products and below the sidebar with all the filters. So now I'm going to go ahead and make this change and I'll show it to you. I moved the sidebar over to the right. I did it from the appearance section, customize. Now let's go again over to inspect. Okay, here we are. This time we can see a difference. First, we have all our products. So in order to find the filters, I have to scroll all the way down and past all the products. Okay, here we have them. So let's try to filter one more time. I select a category and as we can see, we have the same issue. Now I have to scroll up to find the results. And again, if I wanted to change the filter, go down, select a new filter and scroll back up. So this is no good either for our customer's experience. But like I mentioned, we do have an improvement in our Ajax product filter plugin. And I will show it to you right now. We're going to see it is practically the perfect solution. Now I can go ahead and close here. And now we can go over to dashboard. From here, let's go and find Yi. Click on Ajax product filter. Once it opens, we will go to general settings and here look for the option that is all the way down right here. Show as model on mobile. All we need to do is enable this option and we're good to go. We save options and now let's go back to the demo. We can see everything remains exactly the same. Nothing has changed with our filters from the desktop view. However, let's go now and see from the mobile view. For that, once again, I click right and I go to inspect. Here, 
same as before, we see the products. So if I go all the way down, I should be able to see the filters like before. But they are missing. So where are they? Let me show you. We can go all the way back up. Since we enabled the option from our plugin, now a new feature appeared. Let me show you this one right here, the filters button. I will click to show you. Here, a model appears with all the filters, providing the perfect experience. Let's try it. I can select a filter, the color red, show results. Immediately, you will be able to see the products, so much easier. Now, if we want to change the filter, we can go back in, remove this one, change and select another one. Again, show results. And here, once again, immediately you will see the products. Definitely, this is a much better customer experience. Now, the step that we did enable in the button is the only step that we need to do if we are working on a standard WooCommerce page. However, if we're working on a custom page and we have, for example, Gutenberg blocks, we will need to do an additional step. So now let's go and I will show you. First, we can close here. And now I will go back to my dashboard. Now I want to create a new page. For that, I go to Pages and Add New. Okay. First, I will give it a title. Let's say Filters Test. Okay, now below I'm going to use Gutenberg blocks to add the products. For that, I click here and first I will select columns and I want the 3070. Okay, on the left, I will add the filters and on the right, I will add the products. I click and I look for products by category. And here I select the one that I need, in this case, woman, and done. I go over to the left, click, and I select Yeath Ajax Filters Preset. Okay, now from the block settings on the right, I will select the preset that I need. I open and select Women Preset. Okay, and here we have our page. We have our filters on the left and our products on the right. I publish, okay, and now let's go have a look. This is the page we have just created. We see the filters here on the left and the products on the right. Now let's go again to mobile view, inspect. Here, this time, we don't see the filters button on top. And just in case, if we want to check, we go all the way down and we don't have the filters here either. Like I mentioned, we do have to add an additional step in order to be able to see the button here. I will show it to you by going back to Edit Page. Here, we just click on the column with the filters, we go all the way down, and we add a new block. This time, I will look for GIF and click on this one here, Mobile Filters Modal Opener. I click and I will just move it to the top. Okay, and now we see the filters button. But don't worry, this will only show from the mobile view. It will not appear in our desktop view. Let's update and see the result. We see the filters do not appear here. So let's go once again to inspect. Here we are. Like before, we can see we have here all our products and this time we do see the filters button. I'm going to open it. We find all our filters and let's try one, color red and show results. Once again, we can see how easy this is. If you want to change the filter, we just go back to the button. I can remove this one here and select a different one, Accessories, and Show Results. And here we will see them, all the products that were filtered. Now I want to show you one last feature. For that, I'm going to close here. We can clear all the filters. 
and we can go to edit page. Okay, so far I showed you how to add the filters button. Now, let's say you want to reset all the filters without having to remove one by one. For that, all we need to do is add a new block. I will select the filters column, go down and add a new block. I will look for GIF and this time I am selecting reset filters button. Here we have it, now just move it to the top and I will place it below the filters. Right here, perfect. Now I update and let me show you the result. Here we are again, we have our filters button. So let's go ahead and open it and we can filter a few options. Let's say a color, also a size and finally a category. Now show results. And here you will see the reset filters button appear. If you wanted to reset the search, all you need to do is click on this button right here and all the filters will disappear. Well, that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.